foot. Of that's, course. There's a lot of problems. Honestly, that's a given when you involve New York and New Jersey just in general, but like especially here where they don't have to travel that far and they get to just goon out. Paper. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> but yeah, I completely agree, H Hangman. You just... The amount of frogs in this in the tri-state area really cements just how and and progresses the metagame of uh, of rano to a hyper extent whether it be uh finding new setups or more recently optimizing how to get your stuff going and it feels right. like once you finding the starter is good for rano like uh, knowing what to do off of it is great but how do you get those and against Wait, this we've seen this matchup before. Yeah, we get a little bit of a remix on this one though, as it's under Darai and Taps. Taps Scott. But like different play styles can definitely be a big factor here because I feel like Rano, in spite of a lot of silliness behind his buttons and what he can do, is also a very expressive character. And I feel like much the same could be said for Raster. We were touching on this note earlier with the uh, Nexplosion and Fruit Loops. Like, these are very similar characters. They're both going to be able to do a lot, but at the same time, there's a wide variety of what they can do. Yeah, how you want to extend your combos and how you want to exert your offense and by extension exert your control over your opponent is very... can be done in a lot of ways. It's a very open-ended question. And at this moment, Darai seems very, very focused on needle pressure and platform movement, while Taps, he wants, he wants something prime. He is looking for... He's looking for almost um, a lot of times in his combos later executions of slipstream. Of course, when off stage, you want that slipstream done as soon as possible. But he always is always looking for the hit and then looking for slipstream. Right. Ooh, we tried to get a big Ooh. call out there from Darai. Little jab one gets oh! the alternative Ooh. there, Our and a really sweet forward. setup into it too. Yeah, that was that was nice. Oh, but gets the dash attack into uh, into forward clap. It's what you want to see if you're a raster player. Keep this lead, and the higher your lead is, the more room for error you have, of which raster doesn't have Yo, much. Neutral Nariel. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Rano and Air just putting in the work right now. All taps just to, I guess, fight through it, but you can't really contest this move that much. The crouch under. That yes. always kills me with the characters that have like really good crouch. Oh, the turnaround with the charge out B as well, getting an up air one, but misses the up strong. Could have been a bit of opportunity for Dari, but you know, trying to stay aggressive but at the same time keep those needles up is a big shift. You know, like you're trying to play two uh, play styles at once, which can get tough against Raster. Ooh. But if it works, it works. That was that was nice. Yeah, no, that, that was, was nice. That was a yucky conversion. I'm gonna be real. Like reading Di out of a down air I popping mean, you up. He's a swamp frog. Of course it's gonna be gross. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> oh, that's oh. oh goes for up to twice over, but gets parried in the meantime. Neutral air doing it, doing frogs work, and gets the super jump into back air, trying to force <laughs> a early stop gone. Up strong won't do it quite yet, but this game is getting more and more even as Darai continuously holds stage and continuously... No! Where's taps. the button? There was nothing! Oh, he had to confirm in everything. That's such a shame. It brings us into this neck and neck now where uh, Taps can absolutely steal this away and he guess he's going through with a down air to forward strong. Resisting the comeback at all costs into a very awkward hit of down air. Like, check this out. Who is ready for this? Like, he sets up Go, uh, applies pressure with the forward strong, but is always looking to get back to the ground. But after this hit, the double jump dare setting up so perfectly. Like, how do you go from, like, here, gets dared, pops up here, and is ready for it? As the replay screen is blocking it, but, you know, you get the <laughs> There's an arrow there! You, you get the idea. Like, it is, pre it is prime material for... Like playing out of hit stun, and Raster does it so well because he's already comfortable in high air situations like this, and a lot of Rano's setup tools pop you up. Yep. That's such a messy conversion, but hey, it worked it's out. It's a messy game. It, it really is sometimes. Running it back to force floor, though, I think is actually a fine call. Oh, man. Quick 50 on the part of Taps. Not looking to commit too hard into up airs as we were seeing next to a little earlier. They was um, very focused on like up air and fair chains while Taps is 
being a lot more variety with some of his uh, with some of his play, and you're seeing a lot more grounded setups with these wave dash down tilts that are so so good. But the alternative there keeps you guessing, <laughs> <laughs> and it keeps edge guarding while we're going. So like, it's it's working so well for controlling this early oriented Ooh. character. But the way that Taps has been able to find these counter offensives in such the weirdest of ways shows such a level of comfort with the character's tools. It's like, oh, I'm in this situation in this moment. Yeah, no, I got a response. Um, definitely his moment to spend trying to. Uh, both of these two are just scrapping the corner. It's like, you get off stage. No, you get off stage. And fighting for who gets the edge guard the other first. They just they want just an ounce, just an ounce of percentage. It's the slightest maybe, touch. Maybe That's all they need. More. Maybe a little bit more than a percent. Maybe maybe even a stock as a treat. Yeah, it's just off of such a low percent combo too, but it was in such an awkward spot because that's kind of what both of these characters accomplish really well. And Darai, after a hard fought game one, kind of getting out tempoed here in game two, forcing the Dacus, trying to chase with the back air, has yet more back airs to chase, but you can't go so far. Frogs jump high, but birds jump a lot. Yeah. Like the fact that I, oh, Ooh. the control of the ground movement, I feel, especially like player to player wise, is actually really important for Dari to continue to express. Because as you highlighted earlier, Taps is really comfortable with moving low to the ground with the slipstreams or just in general ground movement with Raster. But if you turn that around against Raster, you're not in your most comfortable spot, that being the air. You have to deal with Rano buttons while he's got plenty of ground to reset his, uh, his hit falls on. As we're seeing that, Darai challenging so much of Ron Darai was doing so good at doing what Ranas do best, which is neutral aerial. And we see just so many instances of instead of these going for not only high nares, but a lot of these short hop, fast fall nares cover so much of the ground, force taps into the air. Yo, which, catch this young up air though. And then challenging. Oh lord, that up air was nice. Like, the fact that that all came out of that Just charge cancel, he was like, all right, I got to press a button. I have a moment. I think I know what button I want. Just bring him to the ground. Bring him with you as he throws out yet more Nair and more of this hor extended horizontal pressure. For as much as Raster can control a lot of space, especially with Slipstream, he can't get to the... He's always risking himself in those... Uh, in his decisions to approach and in his decisions to challenge. Rano has access to... The th not just a projectile, but the threat of a projectile, as as well as tongue. Just yeah. tongue things. You know, what better way to, to like press that risk forward with an absolute double down of a stage with Rock Ball? Both of these characters can just cause disaster for their opponents off of a stray hit, especially when you consider how frequent these interactions have been going on close to the ledge. But hey, center stage is just fine for Durai. Yeah, vertical kill options hugely important because they're consistently consistent and we will double down on that yeah! word as he's going to double down on this edge guard reset his tools and go right back to work this man does not care what hitbox of forward air he gets as long as he lands it one two three <laughs> up airs that time as oh man Darai <laughs> has just found a new sense of life after winning that game on a strong come winning that game two on a strong comeback got to be careful of the uh, of Raster's aerial game, though, able to pivot into some verticality as we surf him. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he got the whole thing off! <laughs> Does it stay? I wonder if it stays because he's taunting. That'd be funny. <laughs> Come on! He just goes for it again! He goes for it again! Does he have... He has this wall jump. Has to neutral B, but it's still... Easy. No shot! All right. I was about to say... You can't let this man literally surf on you and then do that immediately off the surfboard. <laughs> I mean, he's surfing in the U.S. <laughs> at the <laughs> moment. He's just, look how it's just smooth the Rai has been up until that turnaround where he's getting a little overzealous, messing with the bubble, gets neutral, but the bubble just absorbs Rano, Whoa. saves him from the danger. Rano back there is a hell of a drug, but that forward air do be hitting different. That was a wild game. Every it feels like every game Darai chooses to focus on a different move. Like it, you know, game one. Oh yeah, we get a nice zoom in. We get the. All oh, right. Surfs up. Surfs up. <laughs> surfs. Surfs stays up. There you go. <laughs> what a sick dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
No platforms for any silliness here, but also this is a very dangerous pick. Can I say glad, how glad I am that we were able to just like kind of stabilize him inside <laughs> the circle? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, like, take it away, guys. Can, can we get the, when's the Rano snow globe? <laughs> Dent, please. <laughs> Dent, please. <laughs> merchandising, merchandising. <laughs> Merch team, please. <laughs> Stop making <laughs> Orcane plushies, I want snow globes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the DI! Uh, but I, I... To go back to Sanity, for just a brief moment. Are you sure uh, we're going back to Sanity? Because we saw that down air forward strong kill once again, and almost right immediately answering with a stock of their own. I don't know if Sanity is what we could call these interactions. Well, at the very least, it's controlled chaos, and that's what we're here no! for! Go to the dirt! And Rano come, fights right back through it. This is a brown frog, after all. He spends a lot of time in mud. There we go. <laughs> Smooth, I like it. Yep. Very cool. You're, you're, my Nat Geo <laughs> trivia fact of the day. Yeah. Brought yeah. to you by Google. Yeah, you know, we, I spend a lot of time watching Animal Planet. <laughs> Just dog things. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I, Ooh! and that's exactly that's part of the reason why the stage can be so volatile, especially since uh, Rano has an extremely solid wavelength. It turns the ledge into such an offensive position. On top of that, the hitfall extensions that oh, Rano can yeah. find on the stage are actually gr gruesome. Like, there's no platforms to save you. The stage itself is relatively kind of long. So, like, you have so much to deal with if Rano gets to be on the ground. And that was a very weird way of these characters separating. The trade, though, for, uh, throwing out the bubble yet again, trying to stay alive, and does so. Forward air won't do it. Neutral air won't do it. Uh, dash attack will. The slipstream uh, dash attack to up strong. Just being so consistent for, uh, for a raster. Yo, teching in the down tilt so you can make sure you get your counter offensive off. We love to see it. These these players be scrapping, and they are trying their best to keep this game going. Tap Scott trying to bring this to a game five, while uh, Darai looking to get into winner side top eight with the swiftest of movements. But he's got to get through the second stock and does so with the back air. Final stock, 53%. Oh, just the jab check from Taps, but doesn't extend it further. And now he's getting Durai uncork. Oh, this one's looking rough, but that's such a huge whiff. A huge attempt. Where are we going? Going low, getting low in order to avoid, but he's still in the same <gasps> spot, and he DIs out the fair. Time and time again, dash attack would lead into up strong or up airs, but this time just a forward air because he didn't have slipstream, and without the slipstream, it's not a true combo. So he goes for forward air to get something, and Darai overthinks it. Something was just enough there. All right, and that gives us our game five. That's back to back game five. You love to see it. This one very different from the Hodan, uh, from the Giga. Uh, Penguin set. Where that yeah, one... no, we switched genres. We we moved oh, from yeah. from comedy to action real quick. Yeah, it's like when you watch a. Uh, oh my God, what's the movie? It, the movie with Tom Cruise. Like the sequel just came out. Top which Gun. One? Top Gun. Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say which one? It's like when we when you're watching. <laughs> A top, when you're watching Top Gun and you go from, oh, it's fighter pilots, why are we playing beach volleyball? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we were just in the danger zone. <laughs> Kenny Loggins told me so! <laughs> you're not about to tell me Kenny Loggins is a liar, are you? She's just not telling you the truth all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes it's the danger zone. <laughs> uh, are we? Okay, no, he banned Spear yeah, Tree. No, That's no. the danger zone. That's the truth for real. I, I love that stage, by the way. That stage is actual silliness. And so is Air Armada, and there it goes. Wait, how did he ban four stages? Oh, no, those two, they won They're on... They're just blue. Yeah, he, no, he won on the two stages, so he, uh, DSR cannot counterpick the, the locks. But he did, and he banned Spear Tree and etc. Change of skin, but a very familiar piece of scenery. Indeed it is. Let's see how well it could set up for this Game 5, because there's so much room for both of these characters to just go off. Presence of Platforms has been a blessing for both of these players. But also the stage layout, like, things can get screwy real quick. Yeah. 
plenty of means to extend, but you do have to account for those blast zones, which can be uh, for the first, what well, feels like the first stage all set. These blast zones will be favorable for survival. It's a raw narrow. Oh, the the super jump into a needle in order to extend. Oh, man. The single needle <laughs> confirms have been looking so crispy from Dari. And all those needles coming right on back from the parry reflex. Oh. Okay, misses that. Misses the game one winner, but he gets the tech off the holding in. Flying so fast, but still able to find the survival as Dari is looking to make up for game four. Missing another forward strong. Missing again into an anti-air. Dude is plugged into the matrix the way this movement is looking. Like, how close? Hey! He did the thing! Yeah, but he didn't die. <laughs> no, he did not die. Uh, oh, I thought we were That was cute. Yo, timeout strats? <laughs> <laughs> not in this game. Not... Whoa! All right, that using... bubble was not meant for you, friend. Trying their best to keep spacing away, but these uh, the access to these platforms means the diagonal pressure is so strong. The kill comes out from taps, but he's got not a ton to go, but he does have to get something started, and that'll do a triple down air that time into a dash attack down air fair. Looking to keep the pressure going and doesn't able to attack in time. Oh, no. There I seem to have been expecting it that time as well as they... DI'd it perfectly and teched it perfectly fine first time around. Second time around, not so lucky. Yeah, it looks like the DI was there, but just didn't reach it. The too far high, out. Yeah. Down air just dragged him around too much. Too high speed. High speed frog coming at him. High speed bird. High speed bird. Uh, one high, less. High speed. He took <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, and there we are on last stocks for game five. Pressure's on because any hit can be a disaster. Oh, but the and counter it truly kill. does! Down airs after down airs and a dash attack too. Okay. The platform moving, uh, the platform moving, turning off the loop that Taps had set up. This is going to be huge. Gets the, the gets the tongue. Oh, he fell too fast. He missed position too heavily. He has to go for it again. Ha does make it. Tekken pulls it. A tech roll in, trying just his best to find a way to send back to stage, and he does. Controlling center, throwing out this neutral air and trying to hold that sent off stage play, keeping Durai off and keeping those resources burned. Has to up gets a dash tag, forward strong, but the DI in late saves Durai. They're both just living on the edge right now, doing everything they can, but he throws it all away. The positioning so poor after that. <laughs> He has the resources to come back, but at what cost? That was... Uh, I Another down air! He gets teched! Both of these two are not chokers, and they're fighting for their lives, but who will make the last mistake? The miss! The miss on the up air keeps him alive, and Dash Tech Forward Strong does it! There it is. Dash Tech Forward Clap. And we've got a winner! Holy, what a finale to that set! As Darai falls by just a hair, just a it, feather. It really came down to that last high-pressure situation. Hits all over the place. Movement as dangerous as can be from both of these characters. But I've got yeah. hold forward. I think... saw the opportunity for the short hop clap, and the positioning was fantastic because they were able to move so fluidly with the slipstream. Hey, can we see that replay Bring one more time? Bring that on back. Because I feel like we're going to, as we watch this in half speed, I feel like an important bit. He's going to miss this combo, which does suck. But right Sets up for the here, slipstream. The double jump was used Oh, just frames ago. Double, There's the ring. Double jump used. Air dodges forward. And that's like getting hit by the slipstream. It's just a small hit, but it puts that little bit of haptic feedback Puts you into a panic scenario. The double jump used. Missed, maybe a whiff, missed wave dash as it was delayed and off kilter. But at this singular moment, 441, he burned all of his resources at once. And the rest was history. Had there to, it is. Had the to try to land. So good in the slipstream. Got the hit he needed. And even with good DI, that was that. Man, that is... What, what a set. That was...